Hi guys, and welcome to Polyglots of the Week. It is Tuesday, and I first want to start off by apologizing for being late for last week. I'm so sorry. Uh, things just came up, and life happened, so let's move on. This week, we are still doing kind of our own theme, so I wanted to show you all my barracks, my language books, and where I keep everything. So you've probably seen my bookshelf in the back of a few of my videos. This right here is my language barracks. So what we've got is a whole bunch of books. It's kind of overflowing. Uh, I've got a few shelves. Um, over here we have languages that I really don't study. I've got Mandarin and this says Polish, but it's actually Biblical Hebrew and my ex actually got that for me. Um, I have all of my German things here, so I've got um, a German textbook for intermediate German, I have a dictionary, another dictionary, a little uh, booklet that my friend got for me in Germany, um, a book that's like written for middle schoolers about love, pain, and casts, or something like that. Um, then we move on to Japanese. We've got my complete Japanese here. Um, Japanese particle workbook. Um, the Nakama book series, which are pretty good. Um, Japanese for busy people, which I got from um, my Spanish teacher in high school, actually. Um, my kanji practice workbook. Cute. Love it. Um... We've got my dirty Japanese, of course. And from there, we move on to French, which I don't study French, but I plan on studying French. So actually on my 18th birthday, I went to go play the lottery and I won $35. So I went to the bookstore and I bought this dictionary, even though I don't study French. Um, and then I have a friend that studied French, but is no longer studying French, and he gave me the 501 French verbs. Then we have Spanish. Oh, use my voice crack. We have Spanish, my teacher self. We've got Dirty Spanish. I have a book here about, like, the Spanish Armada or something like that. I haven't read it yet. Um, textbook in Spanish. Love it. All right, this is something I need to pull out and talk about real quick. This book, The Ultimate Spanish Review and Practice, I got it. I know this tag says $2. I bought this book for $1. It was $0.99. Cents. Um, this is the best book I have ever seen um, that highlights every single point in Spanish. has so, 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 so much vocabulary. I really recommend getting this book. If you want to learn Spanish. So, highly, highly recommended. Um, I've got a um, picture dictionary. I have study material for my two T's. Um, 333 Spanish verbs. Then we move on to Swedish. I have these cute little cards that I have from Sweden from my friend. Sweden Inside Out. It's a card game that I have not played yet. Um, again, from Sweden, 1,000 words in English and Swedish. Um, I had a friend, still my friend, not best friends anymore, but she and I were pen pals for a little while, and this is to my brother, and it's a whole thing filled out in Swedish that she wrote to me. Um, all of these things about how sweet I was and like we were having a good time. So this is something very important to me and I'm supposed to, when I get to a higher level, I'm supposed to fill out the rest of this for her. So that will happen. Um, then we move on to my ASL book. I have one, um, it's for interpreting encounters with reality, 1001 interpreter scenarios. And I actually have my DVDs here, too, for ASL, so those are at the end. Um, the Story of Language, love it. My Language Notebook, and then everything I have for Esperanto. 
Um, I actually also have Esperanto stuff here. So that goes. Um, my Babel No More book is there. Down here with my DVDs, I have Harry Potter in Swedish, 1 through 6. Um, let's see how can I do this. I have my German cassette tapes that I still have not played. Um, these are borrowed books, but A Day in the Life of Spain. Very good book. Just a picture book. It shows you um, they had a whole bunch of reporters going out on one day to see what A Day in the Life of Spain was. It's just a big picture book. Um, it has explanations of things. It's pretty cool. And then along that line, I have the same one for A Day in the Life of Japan, of course. Um, then also down on this bottom shelf, I have all the study materials that my friend gave me. Um, so I have French vocabulary. Um, I have Japanese stuff right here. Um, I think this is a French and this is Japanese, yep. And there's some Japanese stuff down here too. Um, I think that's about it. I think that's what I'm working with right now. Of course I have my textbooks from school, but um, now you know. Leave me a response video to show me your barracks, your language learning materials, and leave a comment if you see any book that you would like some more information on. Alright you guys, have a great week. Bye!